Look at these foods. Can you tell which of these foods are natural? Time's up. Did any of these surprise you? Now, we may have been a little bit sneaky here as we use the word natural. Natural in this case is referring to foods that have not been genetically modified but may have been selectively bred for their characteristics in the case of seedless grapes. But what is genetically modified food? GM foods are plants grown for food whose genes have been altered using genetic engineering methods. To explain this further, let's head to the dinner table. Imagine it's dinner time and your friend has lovingly made you your favourite meal, but with it is a side of Brussels sprouts. And you hate Brussels sprouts, so you start to think about all the ways these Brussels sprouts could taste better. So, let's make some. Let's say we want to make Brussels sprouts that taste of your favourite veg, carrots. Luckily for us, a scientist has identified a gene in carrots that give it its perfectly carroty taste. Not really, but let's go with that here. Let's name this gene, gene C, for carrot. Enzymes can be used in genetic engineering like scissors to isolate the gene of interest. We can insert gene C into a vector like a bacterial plasmid or virus. The vector acts like a vehicle for us to deliver the gene. We can then transfer the gene into the cells of our Brussels sprouts during an early stage of development so that they grow and develop to now taste of your favourite veg. Deliciously simple. Well, in the real world, it's not quite this simple. But let's be honest, nothing ever is. And we can at least imagine a world where Brussels sprouts are, well, at least a little less Brussels sprout-like. But apart from making food taste better, what are some benefits to GM food? Let's first look at some problems that the food industry faces. The global population is due to exceed 10 billion by 2050, which means a further demand for food and pressure on resources. More food will need to be produced using less land, water and energy. Deficiencies in micronutrients are also a major health concern, with more than 2 billion people estimated to be deficient in crucial vitamins such as vitamin A and zinc. Genetically modifying crops has enabled us to create species more resistant to disease, <coughs> drought and insects, as well as increasing crop yields, giving us the ability to add micronutrients to food that will otherwise wouldn't have them, or even make them tastier, like the Brussels we made earlier. A real life example is golden rice. Now it's not rice made of gold, but rather rice that has undergone fortification with beta carotene, providing vitamin A to populations that are known to be deficient. Sounds too good to be true, right? Some people have concerns about GM foods. Firstly, some people believe that it's not ethical to edit crops using genetic engineering methods and therefore are opposed to GM foods. There are also some concerns on how GM crops may affect wildlife including flowers and insects due to its reduction in diversity. Some people also believe that the full effects of GM crops on human health have not been fully explored. 